What's going on guys, Briar Rabbit here. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at this guy. This is the Scuf Prestige controller for the Xbox One and PC. This is their newest controller for the Xbox One and today we're gonna to be taking a look at it in depth. So first of all, let's talk about what's in the box. Obviously you have a controller, you have a manual, uh, this one came with two extra thumbsticks, so you can replace those thumbsticks. Uh, one of them was kind of a longer one, and the other three, or the three that were included, were all standard length. We also have a 10-foot braided controller. This can be used for charging or to directly hook up your Xbox One controller to your PC or Xbox. We have a 0.9 millimeter Allen key. This is actually for uh, adjusting the trigger stops, actually the distance of the throw for the trigger stop. And then we have an EMR. This is a small magnet that is used on the back of the controller. Uh, you kind of place it there, and that lets you actually put it into... Um, kind of a programming mode, so you can program the paddles on the back of it. Uh, this controller itself has some really nice features to it. Uh, first of all, we'll take a look at the front. This has a removable faceplate, uh, which is actually pretty cool. Now, on previous scuff controllers, you had kind of a tool and you could twist off the friction rings to pull the thumbsticks on and off. With this one, you can just remove the faceplate itself. It's just held on with magnets. Oh, let me see, it's a little fiddly here. Uh, you remove the faceplate itself and you have access to the inside of the controller and then you can just pop off the uh, thumbsticks pretty easily. You can see they kind of pull right off and they're keyed in a specific direction. So if you want a longer one, you can put a longer one on there. And if you want a shorter one, you can put a shorter one on. They are keyed, so you got to kind of find the square sides of it and you just kind of slide it on there. And then you can put the faceplate right back on. Uh, so I kind of like that feature. I don't see myself replacing the faceplate to get different colors or anything. Uh, however, uh, just being able to swap out the thumbsticks that easily, you don't have to go looking for a specific tool to replace the thumbsticks. You just pop off the controller top and replace the thumbstick as you wish. Uh, moving on to the back of the controller. I think this is where things get pretty interesting. The first thing you'll obviously notice is the paddles. These are newly designed paddles for this controller, and you can see that they have uh, quite a bit of a curvature to them, which I really like. What it allows me to do is put my fingers in a very comfortable position and just kind of press them in, as opposed to older controllers that had flat paddles. You had to, you had to manipulate them directly down but these ones I can kind of, I can squeeze as opposed to push down, if that makes any sense. Uh, so I like those paddles quite a bit. Uh, this one also has trigger stops. So these trigger stops are a little different than anything I've seen in the past in that they actually have these little switches here. So if you want to stop the triggers, you just flip this switch and now the trigger will stop. You can also adjust that distance with this little Allen key and the little bolt right here. So you turn that just a little bit and it actually changes the distance at which the trigger stop stops your trigger. This is great for first person shooters where, you know, you, you wanna be able to fire as quick as possible. So the shortest throw you have there allows you to, you know, shoot faster. Uh, but if you wanna use the same controller for a racing game, you can easily, by flipping that switch, turn it off and use the throttle and brake in their full range. I like that quite a bit. I also really like these grips. This is a rubberized grip here, uh, and it feels really comfortable. You can see it's got a texture to it, so uh, if your hands have any moisture, it kinda you know, channels that moisture away from where your skin is actually contacting the rubber. Uh, and also, it's very grippy, so when you're holding the controller, uh, you don't have to like really death grip the controller to keep it in your hands. You can really hold it quite loosely and it stays securely in your hand because of the texture and the grippiness of that controller. It's a small thing, but if you game for a long time, you'll, you know, you can have some cramping in your hands um, if you don't have something like that. Compared to a normal plastic controller, which can cause some cramping in your hands if you really have to death grip the thing to keep it steady, uh, you can really hold this thing pretty lightly. Uh, and it's a much more comfortable experience long-term. 
Another thing we've got on this controller is a headphone jack and Bluetooth. This is based on the newest redesign of the Xbox One S controller. So it does have Bluetooth, so you can hook it up to your PC via Bluetooth um, or an iPad, you know, anything you really want to use a controller on uh, that supports Bluetooth. Uh, this is going to work for you. And actually, I've used this on my iPad, and it works pretty well. And obviously, having a headphone jack on it is very convenient as well. It also still does have the Xbox proprietary port on it. So let's talk about the things that I like and dislike about this controller. And we'll start off with the rather long list of things I do really like about this controller. As I mentioned before, I do really like this removable faceplate. Um, instead of with the Scuff Impact, for instance, where I needed a tool, a proprietary tool to remove the thumbsticks, it really makes it much more easy and much more convenient um, to get to the thumbsticks, to remove the thumbsticks by just peeling off the faceplate. And the added benefit is if you do want to customize your faceplate, you can order other faceplates and customize the look of your controller. Um, it just magnetically sits on. It's very easy to remove and take off. And I, I got to say, I really do like that quite a bit. Another thing I like about this controller is something that seems like a gimmick, but I actually think it's not so much, are these anti-friction rings around the thumbsticks. You can feel these. These are much smoother than on a standard Xbox controller, where when you move the thumbstick around the outer perimeter of the range of motion, uh, you can feel that this is much smoother than a standard Xbox controller. You don't feel that kind of plastic on plastic grinding as much. And these are removable and replaceable. So you can customize the color of those. Uh, and if they start to wear, you can replace them with brand new ones. I was actually pretty impressed by these. Around the back of the controller, I do really like these quick flip switches for the trigger stops. Uh, it's much more convenient than having to screw something in, screw something out, take the controller apart to get to a switch inside the controller. The fact that these are so conveniently placed outside of the controller and they're very easy to flip and unflip is great. Something that's not exclusive to the SCUF controller but is on all new Xbox controllers is a lithium-ion battery and Bluetooth. So this works as a perfectly good wireless controller not only on an Xbox, but on a PC, on an iPad, frankly, anything that can accept an Xbox controller over Bluetooth. And that makes it much more usable on a variety of devices. I went and played Bloodstained on my PC for several hours with this controller over Bluetooth and it worked great. The latency was very low. And I also did the same on my iPad and with the same results, low latency. And it just felt great to use a real controller on my iPad play in Bloodstain. So I was actually really happy with that. And I'm glad that there's now Bluetooth and batteries included on standard Xbox controllers, as well as this scuff uh, prestige controller. Another thing I really got to say I love is the shape of the new prestige paddles. Uh, the fact that they are more contoured to the back of the controller makes it much easier to kind of press them in by pulling your fingers in as opposed to pushing them down. Ergonomically, they just feel better. And if you don't wanna use whichever one of them, uh, they're pretty easy to just pull off. You can just kind of push them up to the top of the controller and then they just kind of peel off like that. And you can customize your controller by taking those on and off uh, as much as you would like. So let's put this one back on. Now, there are a few things that I don't love about this controller, and to be honest, they're a little bit nitpicky. I do love this controller an awful lot. It's really become my, my standard controller now for PC and Xbox. It's the one I'm going to use the most, uh, but there are a couple of nitpicks. First of all, this EMR tuning thing, uh, you know, it's cool because you put this magnet on the back of the controller, and that enables you to engage you know, kind of its programming function. So you can program the controller. But, you know, if you lose this magnet, you probably got to call Scuff to get another one. And frankly, it seems kind of gimmicky. I'd prefer if there was just a button on the controller to engage programming mode instead of having this kind of magnet system. There may be a reason for this. I can't imagine what it is. Uh, but frankly, it's a gimmick that 
to me, it probably adds cost to the controller. And if you lose the magnet, then you got to call Scuff to get another one. I'd prefer a button, to be honest. The other thing is there is a little bit of a vibration in the controller when I hit the leftmost uh, paddle on the back. It feels like there's like a spring that kind of goes twang a little bit on the back of that. To be honest, I don't feel it when I'm playing games, uh, but you know, when I'm just holding the controller, I can feel it. Uh, and it does kind of, it detracts from the overall quality feel of the controller. My final downside isn't necessarily a downside about the controller I have, but about the controller I would like to have. So in the past, Scuff has actually made new casings for controllers. Look at the difference between these two PlayStation controllers. These are both Scuff controllers. This one uses the standard PS4 you know, layout and plastic, but this one is a, still a PlayStation controller, the Impact, but it uses brand new plastics. And frankly, the Impact has become my favorite controller that I own. It's bigger than the standard PS4 controller. It's more comfortable than the standard PS4 controller. There's really no downsides, but if you don't like the Impact, you can still get a scuff version in the standard PS4 controller shape. With the Prestige, however, they didn't do any new plastics. This is still the same shape and size as the standard Xbox controller, which is kind of surprising to me because the scuff controller on Xbox actually competes with the Scuff Elite controller that Microsoft makes. So having new plastics, a new shape, a new design would actually help differentiate the Scuff controller around the Elite controller. But as you can see, this is an older Scuff, uh, I can't remember what this one was called, uh, but right when the Xbox One came out, this was the Scuff that I got. Uh, and this new one, while it has a lot of very cool features, is the same shape, size, the button configuration is all the same. So if you don't find the Xbox controller to be comfortable, this isn't gonna change that for you. However, on the PlayStation, you have the, you know, you have the impact, which actually does change that. And I think that's pretty cool. So I'd love for them to come out with a Xbox controller that has all the same features as the Prestige, however, offers a different shape. So you can customize not only the features of the controller, but also the shape of the controller based on your preferences. Overall, I quite enjoy the new Prestige controller for the Xbox One and PC. Uh, this has really become my go-to controller on PC. Uh, I really like having the paddle stops and the triggers on the back, uh, as well as that, that rubberized grip, I'll tell you, it's really nice. Uh, so this has really become my favorite controller for the Xbox. These things are available on Scuff's website. I think they're anywhere from about $150 to $200-ish, uh, depending on what options you want and colors and you know features and all of that. They are really customizable. Uh, you can even change the color of the buttons. You can change the color of the thumbsticks, the friction rings. You can really customize the heck out of these things. Uh, and really personalize them to you. I kind of went with a DCP theme here with the, the black and the red. Uh, I really like that. So yeah, overall, I'm very satisfied with this controller. I did receive it for free. Um, so, <laughs> you know, it wasn't my outlay of $200 to uh, pick this thing up, but uh, I do really like this thing quite a bit. That's gonna do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button if you like the video. Hit subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.